All right, y'all, I just wanna take a quick second and uh, show y'all how I make deer feeders out of 55 gallon drums and what all supplies I get to do this with. Um, first thing you're gonna need is a 55 gallon drum. These come in 35 gallon. Um, they, have, they have a metal, they have them in plastic. E either one works. Um, I got a metal one though. Now, once you get one of these, if they've held any, anything besides water, it, I really recommend you wash them out. I just clean this one up. You can see it's pretty daggum clean in there. It was brown almost. So I don't want any of that stuff getting on the corn and getting into, into the deer and making them sick. So that's why I do that. And then what I have next, I've got a funnel, which I don't think you really need these, but with that much corn, I'm gonna go and get one and a lid. Just lid that fits over the top. And then you're gonna need a motor. So this is the motor I got. It was about $40 at Academy. And both of these lids were about $40 I ended up spending 70 something. So I just got a regular motor from Wild Game Innovations and I believe these this funnels and stuff is the same brand. Yeah, same same brand. Funnels, lid, and, and uh, motor. And that's just a regular drum. Once you get your barrel, what you wanna do is if it doesn't have a removable lid, you wanna cut off the top and cut a hole in the center. I cut this all two inches and hopefully my funnel fit right down in there. It's real snug, so I'm gonna have to push it in there. I'll get right back to y'all. In there, but the funnel is super snug. It fit just like I hoped it would. Um, but one thing, you're gonna need something to push it in there with. I used a baseball bat and a hammer. I just put the baseball bat in the center like so and just started pounding down. And once I got it past this rib, just kinda had to go on each of the edges and even it up with that center of the barrel. Sorry about the wind, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this anyway. So this is the lid. It fits right over the barrel. It's probably got half an inch or so of clearance. Maybe a little less than that. No, not half an inch, like a quarter. Y'all tell me, it looks like half an inch to me. But anyway, um, this fits over it and it's got these things to screw in and hold it up against that rib. That way it can't come off. Uh, it keeps it on there so it's hard for the raccoons to get off and so the water can't get in there and spoil your corn. And then I'm gonna get this thing flipped over and we're gonna put the motor on it. One thing, um, the bottom of the funnel does stick out a little bit. I actually wanted it to do that. I mean, you can set yours in there where it's not sticking out a little bit, but I wanted mine to, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, for some reason, all four of your drills are broken. Just come over to your neighbors. Maybe they'll have one you can borrow. That's what I have to do. So, hmm. That little feeder motor comes from much everything you need. It comes with everything but the battery. You can have this little funnel kit that fits right over the funnel that sticks out a little bit. Um, it didn't come rough like that. It came perfectly fine. The drill did that. So I've got this on now. Now all I gotta do is put the motor on and then she just gotta put the battery in it for the corn. And it'll be ready to go. All right, y'all. So this is pretty much the final product there's not really anything else i can do to this besides put legs on it and that's where i want to come talk about something real quick um so if you're watching this video you're more than likely looking at how to build a 55 gallon tripod deer feeder which is most commonly most commonly used, uh, deer feeders tripod feeder around here anyway um so i'm not gonna do tripod legs i'm actually gonna use uh two four by fours eight foot long um i have them probably six foot to wherever it probably mounted right here or whatever and two foot in the ground and then braced up with two by fours i just think it's gonna be a lot stronger than the tripod design a lot cheaper for me anyway um maybe a little bit stronger against hogs trying to push them over or whatever but so that's pretty much it i mean i'm pretty proud of this feeder y'all tell me what y'all think i'm i'm proud of this feeder because to me it looks like i bought it because look at this dude look 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 what they would necklace i like this feeder now i need to help on one thing real quick all right so i have a whole nother barrel what should I do with it? Should I make another one of those, which is another battery powered feeder, or should I make a gravity deer feeder? Now I made two really cringy gravity deer feeder videos. I thought this one, if this video would be a whole lot better. Um, so just tell me what you guys want me to do. All right, so go ahead, like, and subscribe, hit that notification button so you never miss another video. Comment down below, like I just asked you to, tell me what you want me to do. Um, stick with it, boy, I'll tell you what.